spawn side here to try and give coverage. Now, you, need, you guys need to understand that Bren is actually running a triple lineup. Actually, Dispenser gets a frag onto Conqueror at first. So that's attack down. Market doors are down already. They are still chilling by um, in main. No, it's in main. Um, Oh, here comes the Leer. Actually, gets picked up. Oh, Jesse Vash is rejoined. It's now 4 2 4 in the meantime. Here comes the Cloud Burst as well. We're to block off the uh, defense spawn. Of course, they're making their way in. But of course, trades are coming out left and right. Genie takes out Dispenser. Not before Borkum takes out as well. But there it goes. PTC fragging as usual. Borkum goes down. And now, Triple A do have the mana favor. They are here doing what Triple A used to do. They always want to like uh, clear out the side before they get the plant out. But they do eventually get the plant out because they're going to run out of time. Uh, Bren, however, is front back there. You need to check for a uh, boost there. The well, camera actually spots him out, but actually the tag misses. One of fight gets off the chick. That's the headshot. He needs to have a way that he is actually successful. Next couple of rounds, as uh, it's really been influencing a lot of the games mm -hmm. that we see uh, today. Of course, it is going to be a prevalent thing in Valorant, but uh, I think yeah. these teams really know how to abuse it to the maximum here. And one of Flying Congre, they're going to be able to pick off a couple early kills. As uh, yeah, the Bulldog, very excellent at getting the one-shot head uh, headshot and. Um, uh, this uh, particular second round of the match. Especially, like, I mean, it is anti-eco, right? You just want to get those frags if possible. And I just want to point out the fact that, like, Brent is actually running triple, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to look for that word there, but PTC in the meantime actually gets classic down there, but not before being traded off. But Congre, you guys taking that as well. That's a Bulldog, by the way. It's free gun, but there's a Spectre. One of Fly takes out Jesse Reg. Can they make the entry? They probably can. It's only the Reyna left alive for Brent. Cyber camera, but no one gonna be currently residing in that A main. I say it's really hard though because they have Fe like Phoenix. Oh my lord, talking about that. Uh, PTC. Cover going now. My program, they will pull out that dark cover though, but I'm not sure if they want to take this time to rotate. Um, just bring a couple of up to uh, main. The one is there. Yeah, I'll just talk a little bit about Phoenix, Jet, and Reyna. There is like a triple assassin. It's really, really hard to hold. It's, uh, Rounds usually by the time when everyone's in, but they do actually pick up uh, one member of uh, Triple A, so you have that working out for them. Uh, they are taking it very, very slow though. Oh, they have to, as uh, they definitely don't have the locations of all the other players. Spike is still going to be all the way there in B lobby, so that's something that Triple A has to keep in mind. They're already going to go and fetch it here. Congred is, in the meantime, going to be teleporting across the, the tripwire there. That's going to be giving him a little bit of a stealthiness, but I think his opposite number it does know what is up. He's going to be all the way here in market and really just watching the angle. There's not going to be any more dark cover. He's going to be able to spot him out. Borkum, it takes him down. Yep, some Omen, Omen action. Is it enough? I mean, they, they can't they can't entry though. Right now, Brent, like I say, they have the guns, they have the ability. Not favoring going over to yep. that B side after we saw such slow progress in the previous round. Yep, this is the first time they're actually approaching to A. That's running through the smoke. Dubs there actually for some, uh, drops here. Will dash in there. Uh, you're trying everyone to rotate though. Ching Tai takes out Genie, but not before they're getting taken out by Kongra as well. Where is it? Alright, PTC drops the Reyna. Reyna is gonna be oh, that's 30 health actually choosing uh, to be in Spencer instead of the heal, but uh, they will get the plant down at least for once in like the first three rounds though. Let's see what happening post plant here. In the meantime, Reyna is very low, it's 30 health, no heals whatsoever. So it's hyper does have the camera down here. We got a burn um omen on omen action, but it's premium down to a three two. Can they get this diffuse? Currently, Bren, they have the numbers, but again, the HP not going to be on their side. There's still going to be a CTX waiting here with one of Fly. See whether they can continue to keep this crossfire going here, but CTX going to be picking up two kills there. Look at that, working out well for him. Borkum, though, he's going to be mind gaming and now not going to be in a good position with a low HP, but he's going around the side here, but there's not going to be much time left. Not sure whether he can do it. No, it's not going to be enough for him. He is going to expire here, and unfortunately, that's a aggressive peak as uh, the information gathering here for Brent has been on point for A. Oh, I didn't check that if uh, the, our jet PDC actually had an op, but <laughs> meanwhile, everyone is starting to drop like flies. Here comes Cypher, um, spots out all of Triple A actually. Was that right? Um, they are moving towards B. There's only one Cypher blocking there though. The Jesse is down, which means that's the Cypher there for you. Um, they do have number advantage. They can pop to rotate again, but they didn't check anyway. That is the uh, Phoenix ult. You know, once up market, um, spike down already. It's only a Phoenix and a Jet. They are both fragments, so it's going to be very hard to see both, though. They line it up there. Ginny takes a headshot onto Shing. 
Last man standing, he saw the jet, he knows where the jet is, but Ginny is very low. Does he even need to take this peek though? There's the sun, and there's the kill from Dubstep onto Ginny. Actually, a scores a free gun. Mine now says, uh, <laughs> oh, says my jet, so I don't know if she wants to actually defuse this, but she might actually be opting to save here, because timer is not even a lot right now. Yeah, so that's why she's just going to be hanging out by market. Might be able to get some of the angles, but going to be going back and getting the operator. This is going to be a transition out here for Triple A. But uh, yeah, looking pretty good for them so far mm -hmm. on this attacking half. Uh, I think, you know, if you've been watching the, the yep. Royal Sea Tournament, uh, Royal Sea Cup. Now, um, they're forced to eco. Like you said, of course, Dubstep does have uh, the Blade Storm. But then again, he also bought the Bucky. Oh, he spots them out though. Dubstep gets a frag onto PTC. I don't know if they're actually coming in. There's a flash from the Phoenix. Gets one. Unfortunately, Conger takes up Ching and Dubstep at, at the same time. So they're already interested. They know this one is a generator. Gets the peak. Gets the kill. Gets the plant right now. So Cypher and Owen rotating slowly. Jesse, they know that a drone spots him out now. That's only a Sheriff. That's, they, they, they know. So... Got a shock that actually also going to miss. Now, where is the Omen? Actually rotating very slowly. Uh, we don't want to probably lose that gun though because they really do not have the economy right now. Yeah, I think the presence of Morkum over by A Lobby. He's trying to get some of the exit kills. Jesse not going to have any luck with the, the Sheriff and uh, his shots are maybe not going to be that on point. I think we saw some of them missing quite a bit on uh, the backside of B earlier on. But this is going to be uh, a, a chance here for Borkum to be able to get these exit kills. I'm not too sure how diligent we're going to be seeing uh, uh, attack all around. And looks like Borkum, he's going to be able to surprise, not able to get attack all around. Is deciding to make ingress here onto towards pizza there's going to be a crossfire established Borkum gets one but one of flying is going to be able to take him down straight away they're going to start to fake out on the b side and with the kind of information that they gather i think they can kind of guess the general positioning but they are going to still be going for a b here they're going to teleport into the back of site here but it's the trades here going to be quite even to start with but don't think the plant can be stopped here for now and now breton is actually going to be taking a little bit of fire here in the form of the hunter's fury and look at Dubstep, going to be uh, avoiding right on top of barrels. Yep, he's just doing that too. Uh, it's more like a zoning ult uh, rather than a, a damaging one though. But here they are going to try to make their way into there for the defuse. Here comes the flash though, actually catches nobody. Everyone's all hiding underneath there. Dubstep gets one, but not before getting takes off by Aesthetics as well. Wanna fly, takes off Ching. There's only one more. Bren, can he hold this? But it's one on two. I don't know, man. He's low. I think he has to head out because save whatever you can. Oh, well. Anyways, he's just going to be hanging out there. He's uh, going to be taunting a little bit here, maybe. But uh, yeah, not going to be able to get out from that one. Wonderfly actually going to be able to take. Created by Congred. He's already down by tiles. I think if they, they remember that Borkum is going to be there, he's going to catch him out by surprise. And now, this is going to allow them to move forward, but Dispenser, he's lying in wait there with the Bucky. And look at the plays coming there from Catwalk. It's going to be Dubstep able to mow down Ginny, and he's still coming through, but it's going to be Dispenser getting... If necessary, but they need to be the one up front here. They got one flash, they actually miss out there, though Jet actually missing the ability on him. So Wonderfly takes out Ching right first. Uh, Dispenser has the ultimate, getting ready for them, but then again, it's a really short cooldown, and they are all still congregating at a long. Yeah, so I like the idea coming out from Ching, but I think with just so many of the players there, the, the flash just not landing. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's a great uh, demonstration of uh, maybe how Phoenix is not able to quite get the flashes right there on the A main side of things. Usually now we're seeing the Breach really featuring uh, quite significantly the Breach and uh, Jet pairing working out well. But anyways, in uh, Bren will not have that kind of uh, utility yeah. at their disposal. They're going to make do with the, the, the Phoenix. And now Rolling Thunder going to be coming out there. They're going to be pushing here onto A side. But Dispenser, he's there to get the flanking shots there through the dark cover. And now it's going to be Dubstep moving into hell. It's going to be able to take down PTC as well. Not looking good here for Triple A. Yep, they check out that Dubstep doing so much work there under heaven and defenders. They actually got this. Well, Bren, it's 3 7. I mid, I mean, it's really good to take control of mid, especially uh, high mid and catwalk areas because they rotate any uh, anytime they want, all right? It's a pretty balanced map per se, of course, even though you say it's defender oriented. But, you know, look at this. Like, triple A attacking. They are still up 3 to 7. Uh, Bren bucking out a little bit, though. They are still at mid there. Borkham gets a frag onto Wanna Fly because the paranoia will teleport out there. So you can get more, uh, more frags there. Oh, the dubstep! Takes out aesthetics. That's huge. That's two men down now. 
Here comes PTC, gets one more onto Ching. All of a sudden, it's 4 to 3. They know Serena's there, PTC. Gotta be careful. Nope. Gets the frag. Uh, I think they're dropping very, very quick. I'm not really sure exactly what Bren is doing now because, like, they have the ability to actually make the rotation if they want. Uh, I mean, as in, in terms of, like, triple A. But they're still trying to commit onto this, uh, onto this catwalk area. But I think it's working out for them for some reason. Bren is just falling apart. Yeah, they're able to really eliminate the opposition left. here on the A side. And uh, yeah, it really Fight unfortunate that we saw from Dubstep not able to land the shot just now onto Ginny as he was trying to move in with the spike. Dark Hover going to be working for him over by Door. But now, is it going to be a bit difficult? Is it kind of a do or die round here for Dubstep as there's only going to be one round after this left in this half? So he might as well have a go. He's going to actually have the Phantom in his hands. See if he's going to be able to check his corners and uh, oh, looks like he's not going to be yep. able to react to Ginny. And that's going to be an 8. Kind of like splitting up there though. Um, Ren, they actually pushed out A long, didn't see anyone. Of course, they're not on the observer side here. Um, the drone will spot out nobody at least, but they are going to make their way up to B main. Borkum spots out PTC, will take her down. In the meantime though, a dark cover. Up to B main as well. Market doors are down though. Congrat will get out the paranoia. Actually, I'm not sure if they should have anyone there. Um, they still have one minute. We got a breach flash. Are they breaking in though? Borkum is on site. The recon actually spots out Borkum though. Uh, two at the defender's point. Even one of flash takes out Dubs. In the meantime, a lot of uh, engagements coming out here though. Dispenser with that up. Takes down G. Two on two left there. One is on site whatsoever. Uh, Bren. That, I, what? Oh. Pass his own dark cover. And uh, little does he know there's going to be the camera available right ahead. And uh, they are actually pinging. The rotation is coming out here. Borkum is going to be able to take down PTC straight away. But looks like the trades are coming in here. They are not on to site just yet. As uh, it's going to be all the way on the catwalk side of things just, uh, right now. Yeah. I uh, didn't see that though. Wow. He actually left. spots out that Cypher. All right. Very nice. And even a heal coming out your way though. So now very in favor of Ben. We talked about this. Now they do have the plant. Uh, coming in here. All right, Omen and the Breach looking to have a post Okay, so um, all they need to do, hold the side. Oh, Omen is actually very, very low though. Well, with the Cypher with the camera, it's going to get some information. Dispenser is on full health though. Dark Cover actually going to cover up the uh, main. All right, we got Paranoia. It means we know that one is up on Heaven. Do we hear the drop yet? We don't. Does he have any teleport? And he is very low, like I said. Please remember that. Spots out there. One frag, Ginny. On to Jassy Vaz. Pretty strong. Ginny, what are you doing? That's insane. Oh, so good enough though. He tried. Oh, looks like Ginny is going to be able to get the 4K and he has been absolutely... To make a comeback for Brent. They might need to actually win a three game in a row in order to start getting that bank up. All right. And they need to be more vigilant and also take more risk. All right. It, ne it needs to be uh, risk taking play here. Otherwise, you are actually going to be eliminated from the, from the competition. Well, I mean, we have seen them starting to buy a little bit here with S Dispenser on the Sheriff here. But CTX, he's going to get the first pick. He's all the way back here in the fact site. But he gets another one for his troubles. PTC is there to help him as well. Ching and Borkum not spotting him out. And this is looking like it's going to be tragedy for like a Viper wall or something that like you're really not sure. What's happening though? Congrat actually finds the, the jet, but jet actually will take that. Congrat first, of course. Better gun wins. She's left. gonna entry in right now. Paranoia catches in onto one, I believe. There, there's one at generator. Generator is not dead yet though, not before uh, triple A takes down a couple. It is still three on three. Dubstep takes out PTAC. And they do have the spike. They might look to make a rotation or do a fade. Ginny spots out Dubstep. What's going on with this trade off? I think it's super balanced. Here comes the drone. A dark cover coming on the meantime. Though a spot on Terena. My lord, what a dart. Hey, the drone, the drone's, drone's balanced. 300 gold. Um, Omen left up alive there though. Tried to hold the ground. They know one's there. I uh, can look to uh, look to reposition, reposition itself. I'm sorry. Gets one frag. Nope. Does not get it. Aesthetics takes up Orkham. Yeah, a bit of an unfortunate ending there for Bren as not able to really... Congrats, he spots out the jet. Stealing sight. This one, Paranoia. Pass Paranoia onto four, uh, onto three, actually. Oh, Ching. That Takes out PTC. Was that, was, that, was that PTC's ult? Well, that... Uh, 
I'm not too certain. We'll have to see whether or not. Oh, well, in any case, uh, both Jets are down now, so yep. that's going to be it for there. But Dispenser moving down towards uh, Pizza Side. I'm not too sure if he's affected by Rolling Thunder. Doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Acidix now trying to hold everything here on the B side by himself. But look at the push here coming in. It's not really working out. Acidix is going to be able to take down both Borkum and Ching. To get behind the understanding of running uh, Triple Duelist because it's so hard sometimes to take sides for, for that one. Uh, number two, it's hard to like defend side and they would defend the first round. As you can see, it is very decisive. I haven't seen a decisive game this game thus far. Well, I think, uh, you know, there's going to be an interesting choice that uh, our panelists can definitely talk yes. about later on. But now, it's going to be settling the score a little bit. It's a 3v3 situation. Currently, there is still going to be quite a bit of presence from Brent on the middle of the park. But you know, I don't know if they're going to really try and push this one too quickly. They are going to be a little bit apprehensive of pushing. They still have to string together quite a number of rounds. But, of course, they need to focus on this one first. Spike is mm -hmm. still going to be all the way back in B lobby. Not going to be... Uh, influencing things too much, but you can already see that Ching, he's going to be picking that up. But now, Ginny, he's going to be continuing to watch this tight angle and the avenue, rely on the CTX to really rotate over in case it's necessary. Yeah, we're just chilling there in uh, the defender spot there, just getting some info. But then again, um, it is a 3-on-3 three three with 35 seconds left. It is They are walking pretty quiet though, so... Uh, maybe they can buy out as much time as possible and left. make a run into B because they know like Cypher stuff is on A. They already checked it out. All right. So anyway, oh Recon spots them out. Ginny takes down Dubstep. Bren dropping like flies all of a sudden. The Phoenix is also low. They will get the plan out though. Jesse Vash takes out Ginny. And that's oh. a shock that What a shock that it was. Oh my lord, we need a replay on that. Oh, Ctix going ham here, and he's going to be able to claim the final two kills.